Hey guys, so as you'll see from the title below, I'm going to be showing you what I used up over the past month. Uh, normally I include my empties with my favourites, but I don't really have any favourites this month, so I thought I'll just go ahead and just do my empties separately. So here I have my bag full of empties, and I've kind of been focusing on using body lotions up this month, so you'll see quite a few of those in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So first off, I have the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. This is a really thick... Um, kind of velvety body butter, really nice, I really like the scent of this it's kind of the standard soap and glory scent like I said, really nice, really soothes, hydrates my skin um, it does kind of feel a little bit sticky after using it so I tend to just use this overnight um, because I find I have to wait too long for this to kind of dry down before I can get dressed otherwise but really nice, I have so many more of these in my collection to still use up but I just had a little bit of this one left so I thought I'm just going to use it up, get it out of my collection because it's stressing me out that I have so many so use that up, really like it, um, would repurchase it in the future um, potentially but not anytime soon because I still have so many body lotions to use up. Next I used up the Rituals Maydow um, Organic White Lotus and Yi Yi Ren Rich Nourishing Body Cream, really long name. Again this is a really really nice nourishing hydrating um, body butter. It kind of has an almost kind of souffle texture to it, really really kind of buttery soft when you apply it. This one um, doesn't leave a res residue, it really sinks into your skin quickly, leaves a silky kind of finish to your skin rather than a tacky finish. The scent is really really nice, perfect for this time of year, it's really light and fresh and airy if that's even a scent but um, yeah really really nice did really like this and would definitely consider repurchasing um, one of these in the future because like I said it's really nice consistency and I really like it and I don't think these are all that expensive either I think they're maybe like eight pounds or something correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think these are as as expensive as I was expecting them to be so would definitely recommend this and will be repurchasing at some point in the future but like I said I have way too many body lotions to be buying anymore anytime soon. Another body lotion that I had in my collection, almost used up, that I wanted to just finish up this month and get it out of my collection, is this one from Aveeno. It is their Skin Relief Moisturising Lotion with Shea Butter. It doesn't really have a scent. This one, not the biggest fan of. I've had this for years and years and years and it kind of leaves a really tacky residue on your skin when you wear it or when you use it. So, like I said, not the biggest fan of it, which is why it kind of just sat in the back of my collection for this long. Um, but like I said, I wanted to get all of these ones out of the way so I can start using up some more of my more current, newer body lotions. But this says it immediately relieves and nourishes extra dry, irritable skin, which I would agree with. If you've got the kind of dry skin where it feels really itchy and uncomfortable, this does work really nice at kind of soothing and relieving that feeling. Um, but like I said, it leaves that sticky, um, kind of sticky, tacky residue behind. It also says it moisturises for 24 hours. Hours. I'm not sure if it moisturises for quite 24 hours but it is a long lasting moisturiser and it lasts three washes as well so that side of it is nice but I wouldn't um, go out of my way to repurchase this. I'd use it if it was all I, that I had but um, I wouldn't repurchase this in the future because I just don't like that tacky sticky feeling that it leaves behind. Another body lotion that I've used up, I told you guys I had a lot, this one is from Cowshed, it's their Wild Cow Invigorating Body Lotion. This one I got in one of my My Little Beauty boxes. Um, it has essential oils of lemongrass, ginger and rosemary, kind of um, a strange scent, not something that I've ever smelt before in a body lotion. Kind of different, it smells you can really smell the lemongrass and the ginger in it and the kind of lemony scent really comes out when you apply it um, it was nice, it did moisturise quite nicely again this kind of left a bit of a sticky residue or tacky residue um, it kind of takes a while to sink into your skin um, but this one I got really frustrated with because it's really awkward to get the product out towards the end so um, I found I was just not moisturizing my body when I was trying to use this up because I was trying to focus on using this up rather than flitting to something else and kind of not using anything up in my collection but um, I kind of persisted with it got it all used up and then used all of these other ones as well so glad this is out of my collection like I said, the scent is nice, it's kind of something a bit different, maybe something, I don't know when you'd reach for this, I was going to say maybe more in like the colder months, because it kind of has a kind of warming sense to it, but um, at the same time it's kind of got that lemony kick to it, so I don't know, but 
Um, it was nice for something. So, bleh, it was nice for something a bit different, but don't think I would um, go out of my way to repurchase that one. Kind of moving away from the body lotions now. I have this Nip and Fab Body Slim Fix Two in One Body Mo Moisturizer and Toning Gel. I think I maybe got this in a magazine or something, um, and just used it up. It was um, very nice. It's not a product that I would typically kind of go out of my way to purchase. It's not something that I'm looking for, but I thought I'd use it up since I had it, and it was actually really nice. Um, I don't tend to think that like toning gels and lotions really tend to do much, but this one, when I applied it, I was kind of applying it to my thighs, and um, I don't know, it just, it did really seem to tighten the area, um, and I don't mean like my skin felt dry and tight, it like just really tightened and toned, I guess, that area, it felt really nice. Um, it is a it does say it's a body moisturiser, it's not a super hydrating body moisturiser, so if you've got really dry skin, wouldn't recommend this, but if you don't have dry skin, this is nice just for a bit of light moisturisation, and like I said, the toning does seem to work, so if you are in the market for a product like that, this one was a very nice one, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it unless I was actively looking for that kind of a product, so that was that one. For my hair, I used up the Charles Worthington um, Secrets Collection Moisture Seal Intense Rescue Melting Balm for from the uh, salon at home range. This was really nice, kind of a different sort of product that I, than I'm used to using. You apply this to your dry hair before shampooing and you leave it in, I think they say, yeah, leave it in for up to 20 minutes, um, but I've been known to leave this in for a couple of hours. It doesn't leave my uh, scalp or hair feeling particularly greasy. Uh, not sure if I would repurchase this because I don't think it did anything all that amazing. I can get kind of, my hair can feel better with the macadamia um, deep repair mask that I have. But this was kind of a novel thing to try out and I like um, the idea of being able to put something in my hair before I shower or take a bath or whatever. That way I can really leave it to sink in rather than having to have a shower or a bath. I mean having a bath is not too bad but I have to wash my hair first, then put the hair mask in and then take a bath. And it's just kind of a bit of a palaver. Or I have to um, have my shower, shampoo, rinse it out, then put the mask in and then kind of sit about for however long before I can then rinse it out and I just tend to not do that so I like these ones where you can apply it before your shower but um, yeah not sure if I would repurchase this one because like I said I don't think it did anything all that amazing and it's kind of expensive I want to say this is maybe £15 um, it does last quite a while but Obviously that's going to depend on the length of your hair and how much hair you have. Obviously if you have longer or thicker hair you're going to need more of this at a time. So not sure if I would repurchase this but it is very nice if you are in the market. If you have the budget for it then I would say give it a go. I used up this uh, micellar water from My Little Beauty. This one was really nice. The scent is really nice but I can't think how to describe it. It kind of reminds me of something else but I can't put my finger on what but it was a really nice scent um, and it did work really nicely. It kind of worked the same as any other micellar waters that I've tried and I think this one is more expensive than um, the likes of L'Oreal Organia so I'm not going to be repurchasing this one. I'm going to stick with those ones but it was really nice. Glad that I had it, tried it out, used it up um, but yeah I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it. I have a face cream in here. This is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturiser. This was really, really nice. I picked this up in a set with the a little mini of the eye cream and a sample size of the mascara as well, all from the same range. This cream was so nice. I have a review of this actually on my blog, so if I can remember, I'll leave that linked below. But it's a gel formula, so it sinks into your skin really quickly. It doesn't leave a greasy residue on your skin. And I could use this during the daytime, during the nighttime. Didn't matter when I used it. Didn't break me out. Felt really hydrating, smoothing. It was just a really nice cream. And I would definitely recommend this and would definitely look to repurchase this at some point in the future once I've used up all of my other many face creams. But yeah, did really like that one. I also used up a perfume finally. This one just had like a couple of um, spritzes left in it so I used that up this week and got it out of my collection. It is the Gucci Guilty and again I've had this one for... what is that? Four years maybe? Coming up for five years? I'm not too sure. Basically I first smelled this when I was in Australia, fell in love with it and then as soon as I got back I had to go out and buy it. It's um... I can't really describe the scent. It's kind of a more sophisticated scent. Slightly heavier than your typical kind of daytime, day-to-day -day perfumes, but 
um, not quite as heavy as my CK Euphoria. If you've smelled that one, you know that one's a really kind of heavy, heady kind of scent, um, more appropriate for kind of nights out or over the winter I sometimes wear that during the daytime whereas this one it still has that kind of depth to it but it's you can kind of get away with wearing it during the daytime more often and then I just have one product that I'm throwing out and that is the MAC Luster Glass in Love Nectar I did really like this shade um, but I've had it for several years now and with my kind of between my ever expanding lip collection and the fact that this is a more sticky lip gloss the fact that um, it's really windy here in the UK a lot of the time I don't really want to be wearing a sticky lip gloss and having my hair stuck to my lips all the time I just wasn't really reaching for this and unfortunately um, the scent's kind of changed it doesn't smell too good anymore so I don't really want to be putting this on my lips anymore so I will be getting rid of this it does only have a small amount left so I don't feel too bad about getting rid of this but um, yeah, this is kind of what sparked my project pan that if you haven't seen that video I'll leave that link below so you can check that out if you want to see what that's all about but um, if you have seen that video this is kind of what sparked it because I had to get rid of some of this product and I don't want to have to do that with any of my other products so anyway they are all of the products that I used up in March I hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't already make sure you click subscribe check out all of my links below and I will see you in my next video bye guys